All right. So it says, Christy and Vic... Okay. You said, Mr. Trish, what's this other formula? Okay. The only time you use this other formula if it says it's continuously being compounded. And I, I, this one's easy to remember. I call it PERC. P is the principal. That's the number E in your calculator. R is interest rate. T is time. So you only use that when it says continuously. All the other times you use that formula, okay? Does that make sense? Did y'all do this last year? Yeah, I thought you should have. All right. So it says, Christy invests $300 in an account. What is $300? That's your principal. That's your starting amount. With a 6% interest rate. So I'm going to label this. This is P. 6%. How would I change that? 0 0.06. Making no other deposits or withdrawals. What will Christie's accounts balance be after 20? That's the time. If the interest is compounded, I want you to find it semi-annually, monthly. We're not doing all three of these. We're going to do semi-annual and monthly, okay? All right, so it didn't say anything about continuously. So I'm going to be using this problem right here. A equals P times 1 plus R over N raised to the NT. My P is 300. Since this says semi-annually, what will I plug in for N? 2. Now, guys, I'm going to show you how I plug all this in the calculator. 2 times, it said 20 years. Semi-annually annually is once a year. Semi, like a semi-circle is two parts. Semi-annually is two. All right, so this is how I do this. What do you think you first start inside the what? So I just do one part at a time. I'm going to do my division first. Then I'm going to add one to it. Then I'm going to raise it to the what? Two times 20 is. And then times it by what? And there's my answer. So I'm going to put equals. I don't have to show all those steps. Equals $978. How many decimal places does money have? Two. I will count off if you give me more than two decimal places for money. Yes, please. What now? Do you want like a rounded number at like the exact number? Like at the end, I want a rounded number. You talking about when you're inside this problem? Yeah, like I would just keep doing it on my calculator and just round at the end. But like 68, would you want 68 or would you want... Where at, buddy? Like, in the calculator, it said like 0.688. Would you want to round it up? 0.69, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's look at monthly. What would I plug in for my N? What, what did you get for A? A is your answer, buddy. P, you plug P in, you plug 300 in for P. R is your interest rate, 0 0.06. Your N is how many times is it being compounded? Semi-annually means 2. And then 2, the N is right here, and T is the number of years, 20. So your A is your answer, the amount after all this takes place. All right, monthly. A equals 300. Times 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12, 12 times 20. Now you might want to go and know what 12 times 20 is, so when you get that ready for that, 12 times 20 is 240, so I'm going to write 240 down somewhere so I can remember what to raise it to. I'm going to divide that by, I'm, going to, I'm starting my side inside my parentheses. And I get nine hundred ninety-three dollars and six cents. These word problems are not too bad, are they? That's as hard as it gets. We're not gonna do daily because I know you know how to plug in a formula. We're gonna go to number two.
Number two says, if interest is compounded continuously, is that an important word right there? That lets you know there's going to be another formula. You're going to use A equals perk by perk shampoo. Okay, now let's talk about this. This is your interest rate. How do you change 4.5% to a decimal? It'd be 0 0.045. That's what you would plug in. For seven years, how much will a $2,000 investment be worth at the end of seven years? A is your answer. P is you started with 2,000. E is not a variable. That's a number. Your interest rate is 0 0.045 times 7. So here, guys, I probably would figure out what 0 0.045 times 7 is so I know what to raise my E to. My E is raised to 0 0.135 times 2,000. So on this particular problem, I need to use the PERT formula because it said compound is continuously. The formula PERT, P stands for the amount started. I started with 2,000. E is the number E. is not a variable here. It's the natural exponential function. R is the interest rate. It said 4.5%, so I changed it to a decimal by moving the decimal two places. 0 0.045. T stands for the number of years. Number of years is 7. I plugged it into my formula. I multiplied this so I knew what to raise my E to. Got that. Then I times it by 2,000 to come to a conclusion of 2,000. $740.52. Alright, let's look at number three. It said, how long will it take $3,000 to double if, the invest, if it is invested in an account that pays 3% compounded continuously? Well, here's, this one's a little different, isn't it? We got our starting amount is what? 3,000. We want to know how much, how long it takes to get how much. So they kind of gave me my answer here. So in this formula, A equals PE raised to RT. My principle is 3,000. I want to know how much long it takes to get. When it says how long will it take, you're looking for T. T. How long you're looking for T. My interest rate is 3%, so how long am I going to write that? Mm-hmm. So, I have an exponential equation. So, what would you do first to get the exponential part by itself? Divide by what? 3,000. I'm going to divide by 3,000. Same thing we've been solving. Can I get the bases to be the same? No, so I'm going to take the what of both sides? Natural log of both sides. We know natural log of E is what? So I'm going to find the natural log of 2 and divide it by what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you this. This is how long. I mean, how long? We do it in years. Would you put 23.1 or 24? 24. What now? You could do that, it's fine. If you put 23.1 years, I would not count it wrong, okay? If you put 23.1 years. But it would make more sense to just say 24 years. In 24 years, it would at least double. But like I said, if you put 23.1, I'm not... Mm-hmm, yeah. All right, let's go to the next page. one do I want to do? We're going to do the first one, call it a day. 
You don't have one of these like this on test. The only ones you have on your test is compound interest. But let's just look at this, okay? It says, in 2007, the population of the state of Georgia was 9.36 million people. In 2000, it was 8.18 million. This is a prime example of how exponential functions are used in real life. It says, determine the value of K, Georgia's relative rate of growth. Here's the formula. Y equals A times E K T. A is the initial value. T is the number of years. K is the rate at which it's growing. Okay, so... Okay, what would be considered the initial value? The year 2000, year two, 2007, or 2000? What comes first? 2000. All right, so Y equals A E to the K T. In, so would I consider the 9.36 million or the 8.18 million as my original value? I will put 8.18 there, but we've got to remember it's in million times E. We're looking for K. How many years is 2007-2000? Seven. Very good. And over here, this is 9.36. So that 9.36 million, we came from 8.18 million. We're trying to find the rate. So the first thing you would do, guys, is divide both sides by what? 8.18. Y is how much it... So I is your initial population value. Y is the um, ending population value that you're considering at the moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. So here's a, this is an example of growth. Now, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides. So, natural log divided by 7. So, I get k equals 0 0.02. Because isn't this going to be an, when you talk about rate, isn't it going to talk about percentage? So, how much did we grow by? 2 what? 2%. But like I said, these are not on there. I'm more considered, you're going to use this more often. This is what you're, is on your test. Um, this is what's going to be your homework. Okay, hold on, Tyler. i got to get the worksheet out. But. No. This is your assignment that's going to be due. When you get it, start circling the ones that's on this page. These are the ones that's going to be due on Monday. for your test. Do you Monday. The only assignment you have is this. If nothing online, just this. And study for your test. Have a great day. Luke, do you want to do your homework check right now, quickly? Or what do you think? You missed a homework check and a quiz yesterday. Or just on Monday. You gotta have it made made up by Monday. I do have my own calculator. It's just not charged right now. I know my life is a mess right now, Tyler. You don't have to tell me. Have a good weekend. You have a good weekend.
You have a fantastic weekend. Oh, yeah. I have your bag right here. Yeah. This is Sports Medicine Sign Language, and now it's one. All in this one. Right? See y'all later. Hey, bud.